Good morning vlog. It is the next day. Today Bird took off work so that he can like recover from the, the week trip where we were just exhausted the whole time, which I think is a very good idea idea yes <laughs> but anyway since he has a day off of work we are going to a new ramen place that i've been wanting to check out for a really long time and i was just way too busy to check it out and i wanted to check it out on the weekday because on the weekends i know the waits can get really long so we are going to kajiken no honey kajiken <laughs> bird you need to keep an open mind what if you like this one more than taishoken okay not loyal <laughs> if there's one thing about bird when he likes something he really likes it and he's loyal to it forever loyalty. okay okay well we're gonna try kajiken see how it's like okay let's go bird <laughs> Could be crispier. The meat is juicy. Yeah, could be crispier. Meat is juicy. I like the flavor too. This one is the roast beef. It has roast beef, green onion, crispy onion. I think that's some kind of like mayo based sauce, raw egg yolk, and then the noodles underneath. Let's break it apart this egg yolk. Woo. Oh my gosh. Steam. And then we also got the spicy minced pork. This one has chives, green onion, bamboo, fish powder, and nori. And also the raw egg yolk on top. We're gonna give it a good mix. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. It smells so good too. Chewy. Pretty good. And they hold on to the flavor really well. I just have to show loyalty. I'm gonna try some of the roast beef. Mm. The roast beef is quite good too. Mm. swirl with a macaron and oreo crumbs and then this is the taiyaki with a taro filling inside yum yum Tony came to Cuddle with me. She just lay down in between my legs. I was just sitting on the couch and look at her. She just came. She would literally never do this like a year ago. Never. Look at this cute girl. Oh, she cute. Here comes Bird and Ollie. <laughs> oh, she doesn't seem to mind. Cute girl. Good morning vlog. It is Wednesday and so today we are gonna have lunch with my family and it's really exciting because recently when I went to my mom's house a few days ago we realized that our favorite Hample noodle place reopened. They were literally closed for almost all of 2022. So it's called OK Noodle and they used to be located in Newark and now they reopened in Milpitas. So needless to say I'm super excited. Well we were talking about it on the phone last night and we were both very very, very excited. So let's head over to OK Noodle. is sour and spicy pork noodle soup at OK Noodle, Mom's my favorite. favorite. Yes. She loves this. <laughs>
few days later from when I had lunch at OK Noodle with my family. I'm so glad that I reopened. Literally, as soon as me and mom found out, we were like planning when we were gonna go because we have been missing OK Noodle for so long. That's our favorite hand-pulled noodle spot in the Bay Area. So yeah, that was really good. My personal favorite thing to order there is the chili oil noodles with wide noodles. If you don't specify wide noodles, it comes with like thinner noodles, which are still good, but I love the wide noodles. So anyway, I'm drinking my morning smoothie. I just put some spinach, banana, mango, and Greek yogurt and water. So I kind of just improvise. Sometimes I put my AG1 in here, my athletic greens, but today we just went with the spinach very tasty. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys that actually I feel like I did not document it well on the vlog channel, but we have been having this problem where Ollie jumps on the counter and we have been trying literally every single solution that the internet had to offer. They said to put sticky tape on the counter. We tried that for like a month or two, didn't help. We also saw that some people suggested putting like, you know, like these carpet mats that you put in an office so your chair can roll smoothly on the carpet. On the bottom of them, they have these little like nubs plastic nubs, I guess. And so a lot of online blogs or like videos were saying to put these on the counter. So we have had these on the counter for like over a month. It helped at first, but then it stopped helping. Anyway, we had to look for one that for sure would work, I guess. So yeah, we bought these partitions at Ikea and they're basically kind of like these partitions. You could use them for like office cubicles or something, or you could just use them to separate an area in your house. But yeah, so we have this one and then coming this way, we have another one here to block this side of the kitchen. So yeah, this is basically our new solution. It's not ideal, obviously, because it's annoying to like have to move it out of the way if we want to go into the kitchen, but it's like a for sure way that Ollie cannot get in. So yeah, not the prettiest thing, but it just has to do for now because we don't even cook that much, but even still like having the kitchen counters be sticky with a sticky tape or even just have this carpet thing, it was just not the move. And I would have to clutter up the stove so he couldn't jump on the stove and things like that. So we are decluttering the kitchen, not not really in the traditional sense of decluttering, but in the sense of de the kitchen. <laughs> If that makes sense. Like for example, we even put these freaking boxes up on top of the fridge because he kept jumping on the top of the fridge. As you can tell, this cat has been driving me nuts. <laughs> but anyway, we are cleaning up the kitchen. We're gonna de it. And then we also are gonna go try to buy some ingredients for chicken pho. Because I saw it online, there's this girl, I believe her account is like Christy Cooks. I'll put it on the screen. But she makes this chicken pho out of Costco rotisserie chicken. And I bought a Costco rotisserie chicken earlier this week. So I'm going to try to make pho with it and we'll see what happens. Bird is actually not feeling so well. So it's the perfect time for me to try to make chicken pho because you know, that's like a comfort food, a curing food for sickness. <laughs> we made it to Ranch 99. Oh, let's let it run over. <laughs> All right, here's our shopping list. Let's go, time for pho. <laughs> Let's see, what, how do we find a good one? Or should we just, this one's good? Yeah. Oh, actually, dude, this looks like it went to private school. It's like the perfect onion. Like, com look, compared to the other ones. Look it's at that. Really both of I know, perfect. There we go. You guys, look, they have all these different like Vietnamese soups. They have the beef pho, then they have a stew, and like they have so many different kinds. And here we have the pho ga, which is the chicken pho. So we're gonna grab this. I don't know if I never paid attention or what, but I didn't know they have all these different ones. So cool. Okay, we just got back from Ranch 99. So let's do a little haul. It's pretty much everything that we need for the pho. So first up we have these pho noodles. These are the noodles that Christy recommended for the chicken pho, her chicken pho recipe. So we got the exact noodles that she recommended. Then we have some star knees, the chicken pho soup base. Also some beef balls for some extra protein. A white onion, the literal most perfect white onion I've ever seen. <laughs> A little piece of ginger. You guys know I hate ginger, but she used ginger in her recipe. And I know people put ginger in pho and I don't seem to mind it. So we also got a little bit of ginger. And then in here we have cilantro, green onion, and two limes. And that's it. So pretty simple, I hope. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so I got my rotisserie chicken and I took off all the meat and put it in this bowl. And then over here, 
We have the actual like carcass, the bones, all that kind of stuff. And I also put the skin in there because I figured that it would add a lot of flavor. So we have the whole chicken carcass in here with 14 cups of water. We're gonna add half an onion. Actually, I think we're gonna do, actually, I think we're gonna do three fourths of an onion. She said to do half, but I'm gonna do three fourths because I love onion. And then we also have a little knob of ginger going in. Okay, well, we have a little extra ginger, so we're gonna put it in. Hopefully it doesn't make it too gingery. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine yeah <laughs> then we have some star anise we're gonna put in there she said like six or seven pieces although these are really small okay maybe that's good i think <laughs> and then i'm using red boat fish sauce we have almost one fourth cup going in and then we have one tablespoon of rock sugar and then we have our pho ga seasoning she didn't really say how much to put so we're gonna eyeball it what do you think that good and then we're gonna taste it later so <laughs> we'll see if we need to add more i guess but basically we're supposed to let this simmer for 30 to 45 minutes <laughs> broth is almost done so we have some of our rice noodles all we did was heat up some water and then dunk it in there for like 10 seconds and then we drained it because these are fresh rice noodles not the like hard dried up kind and so now we're gonna grab some chicken don't worry I just washed my hands so we got clean hands load up the chicken because we have hella chicken <laughs> literally so much chicken <laughs> is that enough chicken <laughs> maybe a little more a little more chicken didn't hurt there we go and then we also have uh, some onions. I'm gonna load this one. I'm gonna claim this as mine. So load up the onions. Hella onions, please. And cilantro. I love me some cilantro. Okay, that looks good. And then we're gonna pour the broth over. We also have some limes that we're gonna squeeze in once we get the broth in there. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Now what's left is to for the broth. And I almost forgot that we got these beef balls, so I'm just gonna put a few pieces in here as well. Dang, this thing is packed with protein. <laughs> you got hella chicken and you got beef balls. I think that's good. Yum! All right, this is what the stock is looking like. 45 minutes of boiling. You can see that it actually lost quite a bit of water because that's where it started and then now it's all the way down there. But let's scoop it over our noodles. Oh my gosh, look at that broth. Ooh. It looks so good. All right, I'm gonna scoop some of it. Wow. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I actually can't have not eaten all day. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I actually have not eaten all day. So this is my first meal of the day and I'm about to chow down. Look at this. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I mean, I still have to taste it, but by the looks of it, look at that. Can you believe it? I made that out of Costco rotisserie chicken. Ah! <laughs> Sriracha. All right, ready? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So far, the noodles are really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh my God. I cry. I just had some of the rotisserie chicken. So good. I can't believe I made this, you guys. Seriously. I'm not a cook or anything. With Jessica's help, of course. She's a cook, <laughs> not me. You <laughs> chop onions? <laughs> Better than me, man. <laughs> onions are hard to chop. Ooh. It's emotional, too. Mm hmm. You have some beef ball. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys should make this. Mmm. <laughs> Pho is something that takes a really long time to make and this, you know, you just have to boil it for 45 minutes. That's wild. Mm, wow, this is hitting the spot. All right, that's it for today's vlog. If you made it this far, comment below. I can't believe you made Costco chicken pho. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.